I need to ask uh, <laughs> another track that I, I, I can't let you get away with expl without explaining is uh, Triple Beam, mm -hmm. which is I've got one of my favourite riffs on the whole album on it. Nice, really nice. Nasty. But obviously it's the return of uh, MC Rob Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> or as some people call me, Flynn Shady. Flynn Shady, the real Flynn Shady. <laughs> the real. <right? laughs> yeah, I mean it's, it's it's not like it's territory you haven't touched on before oh, clearly not. because you got a lot of abuse for it last time as yeah. well but um what i mean obviously the story itself of the song is is a true story from your life which you've spoken it about is. before yep. um but how did you end up with a with a song like that again did, did it amuse you to think i'm rapping this is gonna <laughs> you know i there was no you know i think that there's this uh and, you know and maybe bands do it like i think there's a lot of kind of mythology about like we all have a plan and it sounds a lot smarter if you go, I had a plan, I had yeah. this whole vision and you know, Jimmy Page and Robert Plant writing Stairway to Heaven in forty five minutes, like no, like <laughs> come on, come on. And uh you know, I, I, I wrote those lyrics. I would get up at four thirty five AM every day when we were writing the record and I would just write lyrics. You know, my kids are asleep, my wife's in bed, and it was just a time when I could just drink coffee, it's quiet and focus and you know, sometimes it was complete garbage. Most of the time it was complete garbage and other times it was gold. And with that song, I just, I started writing about something completely different, not even what the song was about. And, you know, two paragraphs in, it just <clears throat> went into this story and it was rhyming and it was just this part of my life, of, you know, that was a lifetime ago. You know, this was 25 years ago when this, mm. all this went down. And right before Machine Head and leading right up to Machine Head. And and when I was done I was like, holy shit, like this is crazy. Like how did I don't even know where this came from. <clears throat> but it was all there. Like every yeah. single thing, every verse of the song, from start to finish, in order. And at the time there was no music for it. There was no riff, there was no nothing. It was just basically a poem yeah. that I had written. And I just shoved it in my sheet of lyrics and, you know, probably two or three weeks passed and I wrote two or three more, you know, yeah. I mean, ten more sets of lyrics after that. And then Dave and I were working on that riff in the studio and I had the main riff and then he had the middle riff, or the middle riffs. And it just kind of came about super fast and I was like, fuck, this is a fucking rocker, man. Like, this mm. song is heavy. You know, uh, Phil and Jared came in the next day and we jammed out the... The verses and and then that night I went and sang you know and I just I had those lyrics and I had you know I didn't know anything I just pulled up three totally different sets of lyrics yeah. and I read one was like eh. read another was like eh. and then I started doing that one and it just like literally fell into my lap and I was like yeah. whoa and then but there was a lot of words I was like I gotta wrap it and I can and I can do that yeah you know I'm not the greatest rapper but I can rap and and it's not some unfamiliar world that we haven't done and i just did it and i was like fuck this is this is crazy and uh and when it was all done it was like this is a great song you know like this is just a great song and we got to roll with it you know yeah. the, the hip-hop element you know i never got and i think you and i have talked about this a few yeah. times like i've never got how the hip-hop element got missed in Machine yeah. Head, even from day one. You know, I'm yeah. wearing cornrows in the Davidian video. <laughs> We're walking around with pit bulls, and it's a rap video. Yeah. Like, it's a straight-up rap video. And, you know, we covered colors, more things changed. Obviously, Burning Red had songs like From This Day and Desire to Fire. Um, maybe it wasn't quite so overt as an opening track, in mm -hmm. words, I think, was what kind of threw people off. Uh, but it's always been there, and I think, you know, just for no reason, it just came about this time and we just went with it because, again, like, I think it really came about, became about just great songs, great storytelling. I really wanted to have music and, like, just strip away all the metaphor. Like, I didn't want to have a bunch of, I call them $5 words. I didn't want to have a bunch of $5 words. I didn't want a bunch of clever innuendo. You know, it's cool to be clever. Like, I always love that kind of yeah. Lemmy, Steven Tyler, you know, like that. You know, it's like got a cool flow and a rhyme and double entendres and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. But it's got to be clear. And everything in this record kind of, for me, 
became about that, that it needs to have a clear, direct story about what this song is. And I think with that song, you couldn't really, you couldn't really beat around the bush. You couldn't really turn it into innuendo because it was such a fucking violent, crazy, paranoid time in my life. Yeah. Does it feel good to get that one out of your system as well? <laughs> this whole album is know. about getting things out of your system, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that one felt, I mean, like, I don't know if it was good to get out of my system, you know? Like, it was, yeah. it was, it was a scary time, and it was a bit, uh, you know, in some ways, I kind of like, I don't, I didn't want to really relive that moment, you know what I mean? Like, it was yeah. a pretty intense, fucking crazy time. Uh, it's just a time that was part of my life, and a song just happened to fall into place about it. Yeah. What happens when you balance life on a triple B? When you balance life on a triple beam When you balance life on a triple beam I turn a brick to an eight ball and eight to a brick The chaos in my life was a measuring sink And there's no moral to the story to read the lines in between But that's what happens when you balance life on a triple beam Nobody make you take a test See if you would rat a man to stab him in the chest You make you suck the glass dick called the dragon's breath Smoke a giant hit of speed, prove you weren't the feds Your heart would be so fast before your eyes like flash Ain't easy to make cash, living off a of meth It's a paranoid world, violent and mean But that's what happens when you balance life on a triple beam